Okay, Auntie, here you go. This is the first time I videotaped anything, so um, bear with me. I am naked faced. I have done absolutely nothing other than get out of the shower. I'm going to um, prep my face with um, olive oil. It's a uh, daily regenerating um, serum. I hope you can see that. But anyway, I'm going to put that on my face first. Okay. And then um, I have two foundations that I like. If you want to splurge, I use um, from Sephora Kat Von D's. It is um, Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I like it. It's really good. It's about $38. Um, it's a matte finish because, let's face it, I'm too old for anything dewy. Um, and if you don't want to spend that much, Rimmel Stay Matte, which you can get at um, any drugstore for about 5 or $6, is a really good second. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is basically get my Kabuki brush. Um, that is this brush right here. It is just a flat brush. It's kind of soft and it's dirty because it has makeup basically in it. And I'm just going to put a couple of squirts of my Kat Von D makeup. And I'm just going to apply it all over. This does two things. It keeps your icky fingers off your face, because we both know we're not supposed to do that. And it makes your foundation um, really smooth. It also puts like the thinnest layer, but it's a really good coverage. So you're not wearing a whole lot of makeup. Us ladies that have um, more mature skin and maybe have wrinkles, it has a tendency to settle and that kind of stuff. Although the Kat Von D makeup doesn't do it too awful much. Okay, so that's the foundation. That's it. Didn't take too awful much. It only took a couple of seconds. The very next thing, which is the thing that you want, is my brow tutorial. This is just a regular toothbrush. I'm just brushing the hairs down so that they're not somewhere funky. You're going to see me go off camera. <clears throat> This is Anastasia's Brow Pommel. It comes in a little jar um, like this. It's called Brow Dip. This is what I use and it's all that I use. Uh, this is like three products in one. It's about $18 for this. I have had this probably six months and it's still almost full. This lasts a really long time. But this is like um, brow wax, brow color, and brow gel all in one. It almost acts like a tattoo. This stuff. This stuff stays on um, really well. And then I basically just use an angle brush. It looks, if you can see that, it looks like that. It's just a flat little angle brush. Um, this is an e.l.f. brush. This probably cost me $2 um, for this brush. But basically, I just get some of the pommel on the end of it. And then on mine, I'm going to get a little closer. Hopefully you can see this. I'm basically just going to start on the bottom. Kind of like what we were doing in the tutorials I had you watch. And I'm just going to trace the underneath line first. Now, I have very dark hair. And you can see uh, my eyebrows are kind of sparse because, well, you know, I'm getting older. Let's face it, it's just part of it. So I need to fill in all of that to make it look like I have full, I have full luscious eyebrows. So it's a really light hand. Don't press hard. And I'm just going underneath. Once I have that line, and this is just the tiniest little bit, if you can, you can barely see the product on there. Then I'm basically going to go to the top where right the top of my brows are. And again, I'm going to use the same motion, really light. And I'm basically just going to follow that line. And then I start filling it in. And it's just short little strokes. It kind of mimics the hair a little bit. I'm get a little bit more in there. And you just follow these in. Then when I get to the end, you can see where my last point is right here. That's going to be my straight line. I literally just make a little line just like that. 
and then I fill in the line. It's like coloring a coloring book. You could have color tattooed underneath your hair, but you won't ever achieve the same look. Especially when you put foundation on, it's going to lighten that up a little bit. And it just isn't the same. This really does not take that long to do. Just a couple of minutes. Okay, that's one. Let me get some more brow pommel. Woo, that was way too much. Good gracious. Okay. And then again, I just use mine kind of on the cap. And then we're going to go to the other side. And I hope you can see this because I literally have my tablet like taped on to my bathroom mirror. So I'm trying to look into my mirror and hopefully catching that you can get all this. I can only really see you out of my peripheral, so I don't really know. But anyway. So I've outlined it on the bottom. I'll take a little bit more. And we're going to go on the top and we're going to do the same thing. You need something that has a really thin edge and you want it to be kind of soft. You don't want the hard stipply ones because they'll kind of just mush it everywhere. Mushing is not good in makeup. So again, now I'm just going to start filling it in and I'm kind of going um, with the hair. So the hair is going this way on the top and then on the bottom it kind of goes down. So you want to kind of go with it and it kind of lays the hair down so that it keeps it all nice and pretty. Okay, and again just make the little straight line right there. And then we're going to fill it in. Okay. <clears throat> And look, I don't like the way that looks, so you know, you just kind of take your finger and it's not that hard. It really isn't. You just kind of fix it a little bit. Now again, these don't look exactly perfect yet, but I always do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup because um, it just kind of helps give me a line on where my eye makeup goes. This probably is the longest process out of all of my makeup. And of course, it's probably taking a little longer because I'm talking while I'm doing it, uh, which I normally don't do. Okay, so at this point, I'm um, fairly happy with the way my brows look. So now I'm going to go on to um, my eye makeup, which really isn't much. It's literally, it's two things. That's it. That's all I use. I use um, two things. I have Almay. Um, this color, I think, is called creme brulee, but it's basically just kind of a neutral light color, and there's no shimmer to this because, again, I'm too old for shimmer, um, and shimmer makes the wrinkles poke out, so I don't wear that. And then um, Urban Decay, Learn This Makeup line, it is fabulous. It lasts forever. I've had this palette for probably a year and a half. Um, we are going to use, and you, you can see I love it because I've hit pan on everything, this right here is the only color I'm going to use, and I'm going to use it in my crease. That color is called Faint. Um, this is called Naked Urban Decay Basics. It's fabulous. Love it. So you need to go out and get one of these. Again, Sephora, find them. Um, they're awesome. Okay. Actually, I lied. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, because I do this sometimes when I do full makeup, is I'm going to put a little concealer right underneath my brow bone and it really just gives um, a sharper edge to the eyebrows. You don't have to do this, but I do because I need all the help I can get. So, And basically I'm just tapping it in and really if you make any mistakes, it's kind of like what Jacqueline was showing you with the, um, with the brush that you can kind of undo any mistakes that you didn't care for while you were doing it. I think this also kind of lifts my eye up a little bit. I kind of have fat eyes, go figure. Um, but I do, I think they're kind of, they kind of slump down, they're a little hooded and I don't like that. So I want them to look a little bit more kind of up. So that does that basically. Um, this lighting is really crappy, I'm so sorry. I hope this comes out. All right, so basically just with a fluffy brush, 
<clears throat> I'm just going to put the um, the creme brulee color, which is this one. I'm basically just going to put it kind of all over my eye, really. I'm going to put it on the lid. I always use light colors on my lids because I think dark colors um, kind of close the eye up a little bit, and um, I don't need any help with my eyes looking fat. So, again, laugh if you want. Basically, I'm just kind of messing it around. I'm really, as you can see, I'm not being careful. Because again, if anything falls out underneath here, you're, you're going to see why I don't really care. All right, then I have this brush. This is like my favorite brush. It's kind of long and flat. You can see it's kind of, it's kind of got that little flat end. Works really good for getting in the crease. So I basically use the Urban Decay, which is that color right there. The tiniest amount. I literally dabbed it. That's it. This stuff. Ugh, it's so dark it goes a long way so basically all I'm doing is I'm just putting this in my crease I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna tap it and then I'm basically just going to kind of work it in my crease kind of back and forth once I get in a little bit I just kind of go back and forth like a little rainbow or a windshield wiper and just blend 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 you don't want any icky harsh lines nobody likes that it's tacky even in the south it's tacky um, so don't do it. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Okay, and then again, tap, tap. That's all I'm doing. And you're using it long way, like that. That's the way it's going in the crease. And I want to kind of keep it down low on my crease while I'm really kind of, I'm pressing a little bit, kind of getting the color in there. And then as I work up, I kind of let loose with the pressure and just kind of work it in. And you can see it's not... It's not rocket science. I mean, this is, it's quick, it's easy, it's fast. That's all there is to that. That's that eye makeup. That's it for the eyeshadow. Now, the next thing that I basically um, am going to do is I'm going to do my under eye because I haven't put the concealer underneath there yet. Um, and for again, for us ladies that are aging a little bit and we have bags under our eyes, uh, this just kind of helps us give a little bit more youth. This is just cheap stuff. This is CoverGirl. Um, this is called Ready, Set, Gorgeous, and this is in a pretty light shade. It's $42.59. It's probably about two or three shades lighter than my actual foundation because, again, I want to brighten up um, underneath my eyes, which basically makes us look a little youthful, which is the way we like it. Wow, this is taking 12 minutes. It's because I'm talking. I'd be done already. All right, and then I have an itty-bitty little Kabuki brush. This, again, is an e.l.f. brush. It's just small. It's flat on the end. I paid $3 for this brush. Um, and this is basically what I use to just smooth all this out. I'm kind of dabbing to start out with because if you just smear, uh, it kind of rolls the stuff where you don't want it to be. And I want pretty good coverage right up underneath my eyes. And you can see I push this out and then I'm going to blend it because you don't want to see any edges. I go a little bit above because that kind of highlights this area um, as well. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And this lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. I really hope that you can actually see this. Okay. So just tap, 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 tap all up underneath. Don't stab yourself in the eye. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to blend it because I don't want any lines. I'll do a little right there, right on top of my nose, and then bring it down and then do a little right there. This just, we're kind of doing that little heart thing. Um, you highlight the heart part of your face, which is basically right there. Um, and it can make you look thinner as well. And again, any help I can get. Okay, so that basically is pretty much it for right now. Then the last thing I'm going to do, I lied, it's not the last thing, um, but I'm going to get my, um, Hula Bronzer, this is actually what I use for um, contouring and my blush. I don't actually use blush. So I just get a big fluffy brush. Actually, it's not that big, it's kind of small. You get the Hula, you do that number. Put a little at the top part, because again, I'm making it look kind of sun-kissed. So it's highlighting this area here, I'm now contouring. Get a little bit more, and then this little line, if you can see this, and if you don't have one and you can't see it, you take this little mark 
place right here by your ear, and then straight down is basically where your jawbone is. Well, I can see my line. So basically, very lightly, I'm just going underneath, and I'm going to start blending that in. So it kind of cuts it, and then I always go up a little, and that kind of cuts that, see, if you can see this side versus this side. And then we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take that little line, makes it look like my cheekbones are more chiseled than what they are. Okay. Then, this is actually a little trick. Um, I'm not as thin underneath here as I'd like to be, so I actually take the bronzer and I go right up underneath my chin line. And if you will basically just blend this, this will give your jawline an appearance of being much more chiseled. Because um, when I'm thinner, I have a really pretty jawline. And um, since I'm not right now, I'm going to fake it. And then I basically just blend, 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 blend. Bring it all down because you don't want a brown line going across. Because let's face it, ladies, that's tacky. Okay. Now, before I do my eyeliner, which believe it or not, is actually one of the last three steps I do, which would basically be my eyeliner, my lashes, and my mascara are the last three things that I do. All of my makeup is actually on at this point. Um, I use a high definition face powder. This is by e.l.f. and of course this is probably backwards, but it's just a high definition powder. It's very white. You don't need very much of it. That is literally all I'm gonna use. And I won't even use that. Humongous fluffy brush. I set my eyes first, which is just back and forth, back and forth. I'm not really dry. I'm not really oily. Um, again, I don't like doing this. And then I'm just going to buff. I haven't really added any more product. And I'm going to be really careful. I'm kind of buffing the eyelid, but not really rubbing my eyebrow. But I'm getting some powder on there. Um, I don't like a dewy look. Again, I think I'm too old for that. I don't think I've ever liked it anyway. But I like a really matte finish, which this does. This will help buff out any harsher lines that you basically had and make everything super, super smooth. Now, that's all I'm gonna do for my powder. Then very gently, I'm going to take my toothbrush again and I'm going to just make sure that my eyebrow hairs are not all funky. And of course, that kind of blends them out a little bit as well. So, now, I am going to get eyeliner. It's Maybelline. It's the blackest black. This is Maybelline Studio, I think. Five or six dollars, probably the best eyeliner you'll ever get. Um, it's even better than the high price stuff, and it's super black. Again, you're going to get a small angled brush. This is by e.l.f. That's what I use to put my eyeliner on. And basically, I'm just going to get a little on the edge of that brush, if you can see that. I'm going to start with this eye because that's just where I start. And um, yes, I know you're not supposed to pull, but I do. I start up kind of high and make a line. And I work my way down. I have a tendency to open my eye when I get a little further because I want to see where I'm going. And then basically you see this little naked part right here. I'm just going to kind of meet that tail and fill that in. And it just takes a little steady hand. If you're not used to doing this, it's going to take a little bit of practice, and that's all there is to it. Um, you got to practice or it's not going to get any good. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Hopefully you can see this one better. I'm going to go up kind of high. Bring my line down. I'll open up my eye a little. And then I'll meet the little tail. Okay, that's not quite dark enough, so I'm just going to add a little. This is pretty harsh right now, but by the time I finish it, um, it won't be. Now, I have a tendency not to put anything on the underneath of my eyes, because um, I think it opens it up more when you only have it um, on the top. So, now that we've done that, the last thing basically that I'm going to do before I put uh, my mascara on is um, I wear falsies every day. These are by e.l.f. These are probably the cheapest ones you can get. They are called natural. They're a dollar a piece. 
I wear these things uh, pretty much every day and I can probably make a pair last maybe a month. Um, this is a new pair, which I'm not using. Um, I'm actually going to use my pair, which I have um, right here. As you can kind of see, these are mm, probably a couple of weeks old. So what I'm gonna do right now is put my other things up because I can't see where I'm at. Sorry. All right. Put these things in front of me. Um, my eyelash adhesive is Duo, and I always use waterproof. Um, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. I use the waterproof kind um, just because um, my eyes water all the time because I have really crappy allergies. This is probably a couple of dollars for a tube. And basically what you want to do, um, I do trim mine, which if you really want to get into depth detail and you want to know, um, I'll make another video for you. But basically you just get the eyelash and whoop, you basically just want to put the smallest amount of glue on the edge. See? Right on the edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, set that down that needs to dry for probably a minute or so because you don't want to put it on right when you first put the glue on because it's not tacky and it will just move and it won't set nice and it gets messy you can get this in black as well although i don't like it Let's see there you go um, it turns kind of a funky charcoal color and i just don't like it by the time I'm done, the glue usually dries clear and you can't really see much of anything. Um, and as you can see, my eyes are watering again, so back in with my little fluffy brush. It's just kind of a thing. I have to deal with it. All right. I'm actually going to apply these with a pair of tweezers. Coffee. Cheers, Nanty. Okay. Now. This is probably the hardest part, and again, it just takes practice. It's not that difficult, but if you've never put lashes on before, um, you just have to do it, basically, is all that it is. Um, what we are trying to do is we are trying to get this lash as close to your lash line as you possibly can. Probably 90% of people don't even realize that I wear these. They just think I have really nice lashes, um, which is part of the peel, because you don't want to look fake. Basically, you want it to look nice. So I'm going to kind of get in here, and I really hope you can see this. <laughs> All right. is It's kind of up and down, basically, because I want that really thin little line. I literally want it, like, on my lash line. So, Jesus, I hope you can see this. Okay. I place it in the middle first. And again, you'll kind, you see how it's just kind of hanging there. You'll kind of figure out the length that you need. You don't want them too long because they'll poke you in the edge of the eye and drive you nuts. Um, I'm basically just going to grab the end of it and I'm going to pull it down and make sure that it's at the end of my lash line, which it is. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And then basically I'm going to take the top of it and I'm going to pull it down. And I'm basically just touching it right to my lash line. I'm sorry you couldn't see that. Okay. And again, if you do this when the glue is too wet, it won't stay. It'll just pop back up again and it will drive you batty. So, um, you know, let your glue dry probably for about a minute or so. It needs to get tacky. And then, sorry, I play with mine a little bit just to kind of make sure it's where it needs to be. Okay. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference between this eye and this eye. So now we're going to go grab the other one because it's been sitting there drying. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put it right on the edge. And I always start in the middle, because that's just me. And then I'm gonna grab my bottom. Oops. Now see, this one isn't dry enough. You see how it's kind of getting all wonky? Because it's not dry enough. And then I'm going to grab the edge of the top, and I'm just going to gently Pull it down. Okay, this one is sitting way up higher than the other one was, so I'm actually just going to set her down a little. Okay. 
This takes a little bit of patience. What I'm basically doing is, and please be careful, I've pinched my eyeball like so many times and that really bloody hurts, um, is I'm kind of pinching very gently the false lash to my lash, making sure that there's a good seal. Okay, so if you look up now, I kind of have, I have both my lashes basically on. We're still not done. We need to buff out my lash line because I don't like mine being really harsh like it is now. Um, generally what I use is I use a black eyeshadow and I freaking love this brush. Again, this is an e.l.f. brush. This is called a concealer brush. And all I use this for is for my black eyeshadow um, when I'm done. This glue needs to dry the rest of the way because if I were to do it now, um, it might actually pull my lashes off, which would suck because I don't like putting them on. So <laughs> we really only want to do this once. Um, but basically what I do is I just dip this in in just a little tiny bit of water. And the reason I do that is because um, this eyeshadow has really bad fallout. And if I were to do it right now, it would fall out and get all up underneath and ruin everything I just did because it's set. I have my powder on now, so I can't redo it. Um, and then basically I just rub it in this kind of back and forth. Still have my nice little edge. And then basically I do the same thing. Oh, watering eyes um, is basically I'll just close and very gently. What I'll basically do is just follow my little line that I did with my eyeliner and I just kind of back and forth buff it with the eyeshadow and it will First up, darken the line if there happened to have been um, any glue that didn't dry properly that you could see. Um, but it just buffs the line out and it just makes it really nice. Okay. All righty. So that's pretty much it. Um, we're basically going to put everything up put my mascara on. I put mascara on my falsies. A lot of the experts will tell you not to do that. Um, I do that. It's just basically the way that it is. I know how to clean mine. And again, if you want to know that, I can, I'll make you a sweet little tutorial to show you how to do that as well. Um, it doesn't cost that much to do this kind of stuff. It takes a little bit of time. I will not leave the house without my eyebrows and my lashes. I mean, I'll go naked faced anything else, but my eyebrows and my lashes are always on my face. I don't care if I'm taking the garbage out. It's the way it is. So right now I'm just going to basically um, put my mascara on. I always start kind of from the bottom and I do the little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That was for Cassie. <laughs> um, just do the little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle kind of thing. And I only, for the most part, will put mascara on my top lashes. Again, trying to open up my eyes um, because that's the look that I happen to like. Sometimes I wear it on the bottom, but again, my eyes, they water so much. Um, you know, I start looking like a raccoon if I start wearing too much stuff on my bottom lashes. And I don't like waterproof mascara because the stuff is bloody hard to get off. Um, and my eyes are really sensitive anyway. So I just use regular mascara, but I always use the black is black. I don't care if you're blonde, red, whatever, um, you know, black hair. I always use black mascara. I don't use any other color. Um, I don't like it. I think it's weird. Okay. Um, so now basically we have our lashes. We are pretty much, we're pretty much done. If I wasn't standing here talking to you, this literally would take me probably 10 minutes to, um, to do my makeup. So I'll take a snapshot after, because again, I think this is kind of really crappy lighting and I'm sorry, but this is the first time I've done a video, so don't laugh. Um, but you can kind of see, We'll go that way. And when you look up, there's really not that much makeup on my face. Really, not at all. Um, so when I'm done, I'll, I'll finish this and then I'll take a final snapshot so that you can see it actually did look like my picture the other day. Um, I hope this was helpful. Again, go to Sephora. Um, that's basically where they have the stuff. Anastasia Brow Dip is basically what you wanna get for your eyebrows. You wanna get a really good angled brush a thin angled brush for your eyebrows to do that. And then pretty much anything else you can get from a drugstore. You can use the um, Kat Von D's Locket. That's also from Sephora and it's about $38. I've probably had that bottle over a year. It lasts a really long time. You only need a little of it. 
But if you don't want to have to do that or you can't find a Sephora, then just go to a drugstore and get Rimmel Matte Stay um, or any foundation really that you like. You can apply it that way that I did or not. It's kind of up to you. Um, but the big thing was, you know, the eyebrows and the eye makeup. So, and you can see it's really minimal. There's not that much makeup on um, really at all. So I love you. Mwah. Thanks for asking me to do this. And um, I'll take a picture when my hair is done and I actually look like somebody. So, all right, Auntie, I hope this helps you. Bye.